Woolim Entertainment first announced Jin's hiatus from the upcoming Lovelies promotions due to health issues, fans believed the agency and supported its decision to put Jin's recovery first. According to the agency, Lovelies will be a seven-member group for the summer return. The promotional pictures do not show Jin as a part of the group. Since then, however, some fans have alleged evidence that proved Jin isn't dealing with simple health concerns, but was actually involved in a car accident. The controversy began when a Twitter user, Zion Park underscore, claiming to be Jin's cousin, tweeted that Woolim Entertainment is lying about Jin. The tweet has since been removed. Ad choice as advertising in red invented by Teeds at first, fans did not believe what the cousin had to say. The fans criticized this Twitter user for trying to cause controversy and doing the same thing that pristine member Kyla's brother did regarding Kyla's hiatus. The table turned, however, when another fan discovered a newsletter from Jin's church to share that she has been hospitalized from a car accident, under Section 3. Church members' news of this newsletter, number one lists, hospitalized, member Park Myung Yoon, S hospital, car accident. Fans grew suspicious as Park Myung Yoon is Jin's legal Korean name. The church soon edited this newsletter to simply show, hospitalized, member Park Myung Yoon, S hospital. This only added to the suspicion. While fans realize that this isn't solid evidence upon which to base a sound conclusion, it has made many suspicious and, if Wollum Entertainment did in fact lie about Jin's condition, fans would like to know the truth. A concerned group of fans decided to request an official update on Jin from Wollum Entertainment by trending the hashtag. There is also now an official statement from fans requesting Wollum Entertainment to respond and clarify what happened to Jin. Less than please, heal, lovelies greater than, what is one thing you will never change about Woolim Entertainment? I will never put money first. I will do what I want, and the money will follow. This is from an interview by Lee Young Yeop, the CEO of Woolim Entertainment, done at the end of Lovelies's first repackaged album promotions. How much of that promise to, never put money first, has been kept for the past three years? For all this time, how has Woolim Entertainment treated Lovelies and the group's fans? It has not been too long since the group completed promoting an album that was supposed to be healing for both Lovelies and the fans. Unfortunately, at this point, no one is being healed. We're all stuck in this mess that clearly isn't healing. What do you have to say for yourself, CEO Lee Young Yeop? After encountering the sudden news of a new single album to be promoted without Jin, fans were not excited to hear such a quick return. We grew concerned about why the agency would push the girls to move on without the eighth member. Fans hoped that nothing too serious has happened to Jin, and that soon the members will be all together again. However, it has been revealed that Jin was in a car accident and that her health issues are not just simple issues but actually caused by an accident. We want to know if this is what you, Lee Young Yeop, meant by doing what you want to do, by hiding the agency's fault for not being able to take good care of the artist and blaming her for her health conditions. Is this how William Entertainment really want to treat the rest of the lovelies girls, pushing off their health, covering up their pain, and struggling on to keep promoting and performing on stage? Throughout the many regular, mini, and single album promotions, the fans watched lovelies members mature into beautiful young women. We also had to watch them struggle with small and big issues that affected them throughout the years. The members always gave their best though, and expressed everything they wanted to show the fans. That's because the members trusted the fans and the agency too. We wanted to return this trust. We believe that an agency would take care of the members and provide what is the most basic thing that an agency should provide. Is this how we are repaid for putting our faith in William Entertainment? As the head of Woolim Entertainment, what is your ultimate goal? For my managing artists to have a living forever, and the staff too. If they make money, I make money. This is another excerpt from the interview. If the CEO truly wanted for his managing artists to have a living forever, he would have kept their lives in balance so they can promote healthy and heal correctly. He would have provided a foundation for the members to survive on, instead of shattering the members' hearts and bodies by forcing them to promote without stopping. The fans plead with sincerity. Please let the lovelies girls heal. Woolim Entertainment hasn't responded to fan concerns yet, but fans continue to show support for Jin and the rest of Lovelies's members by firmly requesting some sort of feedback from the agency. Skinship ban among female idols in Produce 48 Dorm Sparks questions.